this time. Now you come to visit me, brother. Why? In the wake of Avengers, Loki is lost, struggling to find a place within the family, struggling to find a place within the universe. It's that part of him which Thor appeals to. I need your help, but I wish I could trust you. If you did, you'd be the fool I always took you for. In this film, Thor needs Loki, so it's an interesting dynamic. Thor is basically bringing him back from the brink, re-recruiting him as Thor's brother and Thor's wingman, in a way. You face an enemy, no, not only to a few. No, no, only to one. If we do nothing, they will destroy us. Conflict between brother and brother is one of the main engines of the Thor movies. You know, they can't stand each other, but they love each other and they need each other. It's just, you know, typical brothers, but heightened. You should know that when you betray me, I will kill you. When do we start? He's the villain, but we kind of love him, you know, and I think any time you can do that, it makes it so much more interesting. There's a fun in watching Thor having to collaborate with someone that is probably the least trustworthy creature in the universe. He's someone who knows his true nature and is having a really good time. That was from New York. I like her. We need to be true to just how unpredictable and perverse this character is, but we have to take him somewhere we haven't seen him before. Loki's kind of walking the line where you don't quite know which sides you're going to fall to. The son of Odin, born to be a king. You must be truly desperate to come to me for help.